exercise that one, uh, I think squats are great. Uh, squats are really great for grounding as well. Um, they're really great for working your core relative to your feet, but most people do not do them correctly. And I think a lot of it is that we sit weird and then we translate some of the way that we sit into doing a squat and it's all wrong. So first, Emily's going to show you the wrong way to squat that I think a lot of people do. And that is people tend to tuck their tail under like that, which puts a lot of pressure on the low back. And it also makes the thighs really work hard rather than what we really want it to feel like is that it's in the core, the pelvic floor, so that it's the undercarriage of the body that's descending and ascending. So she's going to stand up. So the first component of doing a squat well, in my opinion, is that you want to feel like your sit bones are spreading apart. So this means that the suspension bridge of your pelvic floor, so kind of what holds us upright from here, that that is expanding backwards to cradle our torso. So if you're unfamiliar with your sit bones, you can kind of reach back and feel there's a bone at the base of your butt. Uh, you can also think of it as you uh, descend into a squat, you're spreading your butt cheeks. So she's going to try it again. And now she's going to flare that back. So now she's actually able to access her glutes. And then she'll stand up and the sit bones are coming back up and together. So try that one more time. So her sit bones, butt cheeks spread and then they come back up. So that's the first part is that's what the pelvic bones are doing. The next piece is what are the femur bones doing? So every time we take a step, every time we walk, our bones are kind of all spinning on one another because otherwise if they didn't, with every single step, we would probably waddle and fall off to the side. So as her butt cheeks is spreading, the thigh bones are turning in. So try that. So they turn in and then as she comes up, they rotate this way. So try that one more time. And you may need to actually touch and do this to yourself until you can really start to feel the bones doing that. One more time. So that's almost like they're screwing back into place in the sockets and then come up. And if you do that, you may actually start to feel the lower abs or the lower pelvic muscles activating. The last piece is these lower two bones, they're doing the opposite of what this is doing, as if this could get any more complicated, right? But our bodies are awesome. Uh, so she's going to descend. So this is now rotating outward, and then as she comes up, it counterbalances. So let's do that one more time. Goes that way, and then comes up. So I go through this with a lot of folks, and by the end of the session, they can get deeper into a squat than they ever have been able to because they didn't understand that that's what the bone should be doing. Um, if this is difficult at first, totally feel free to hold on to something as you're squatting backwards. If you have tight ankles, you may want to throw something a little bit under your heels. But I swear, understanding this, especially if you've had any um, knee pain or hip pain as you've done squats, totally helps if you think about the bone spiraling. Thanks.